Okay. okay, this is the HXC D70. This is my uh, two thirds inch CMOS studio entry level broadcast studio camera. It is, um, it's been out for a little over a year, year and a half. Um, it offers a multi core application as well as adapters for SEMPTI fiber and uh, triads, digital okay. triads. So it is compatible depending on the the CCU from a multi-core sandwich with a CCU D50 okay. um, and the old CCU cameras, the DXC cameras that use multi-core, it will work on those on those cables up to 100 meters distance. Okay, and that's that's still HDSI. It's not analog nope, HD it's to HDSI transmission over multi-core. Okay. Yep. And uh, the list for list on the camera is 16,000 roughly. The CCU is about eight. Okay, and the monitor then? The monitor. The, the, this is a DXF C. 50 WA viewfinder, it would be roughly around $2,500. Okay. And you control panels go from like $3,000 up to $6,000, depending on which one you want. There is a PC uh, remote control, a PC based remote control that sells for under $4,000, which will control four cameras. Okay. And the tablet cameras. thing is a touchscreen deal? Is, this is a prototype, it is not actually a product. Sure. So okay. Would this, does this make sense to you guys? Is that an application? Uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, physical buttons always are nice to be able to feel. You know, you sometimes when those. sure, it's, it's just sure. I think if the controls were big enough, and I could just put my hand on an iris or something like that, that would be good. If I'm really having to be careful not to jump to a different camera. So for this camera, I'm actually doing just that. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Great, thank you. And this thing has a. Uh, well, it's going to be uh, in order to get any reasonable budget. Some focus assist at the bottom. It also has a doubler that pushes in and crops. Well, will be last year and next year, and that, I think it's uh, August, But it does have the CCU cable to connect with that. Yeah, the best way to do it.